Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to deal with how to calculate the net present value, NPV, uh, of a project. Okay? I suppose more importantly, this particular calculation that we're going to do is going to be based on a project where we've been given a series of costs for the project uh, over a number of years. And we've also been given a series of what the expected or the forecast benefits are for that particular project over the same period of time. Uh, and just as a way of an example, let's just generate a number of costs for a particular project. Uh, let's say that this particular project that we're going to uh, evaluate and we're going to calculate the NPV for, let's say that in year zero today that there's an initial, I suppose, setup cost of, let's say, €2,000. Okay? And let's say for each year following this year, after one year has elapsed, that estimated costs are €500. Euros, uh, let's say 600 euros, let's say 700 euros, and let's say 800 euros uh, as way of example. Okay? And let's say that over this particular period of time, that for each year, although we've listed the costs expected for each year, uh, let's assume as well that we can generate, that we will generate a number of benefits or a number of incomes yeah, uh, that we'll have to, I suppose, pair off against these particular costs. Okay. So in year zero or today, the costs are €2,000. And I suppose we wouldn't expect to have any benefits in year zero. Now that's not to say there wouldn't be any benefits, but let's say in this particular example that there's zero benefits uh, today, year zero. Okay? After one year has elapsed, we have the costs, uh, estimated cost to be €500. But let's say for argument's sake that we expect to have a benefit of 1,000 euros uh, after one year has elapsed. Let's say we expect to have a benefit of another 1,000 euros uh, after two years has elapsed. And let's say we expect to have a benefit of, let's say, another 1,000 euros after three years. And then after four years, we expect to have a benefit of, let's say, 1,500 euros. Okay. So we have costs, we have benefits for this particular project over a particular period of time. I suppose what we should do is we should calculate the, I suppose, the the balance for each year, okay? Or we should calculate the net position for each year. So let's say we do the net position, net of costs, what we'd expect to have each year, okay? And we know that the net position is simply the difference between the benefits and the costs, okay? So maybe we write that down here, our net position, okay? is simply equal to our benefits our benefits minus our costs okay that's where costs are listed as positive values we, we're going to take them away from the benefits so if this value is positive we know that for that particular year that we've made a profit if this value is negative uh, we know for that particular year that we've made a loss okay so in the first year or in year zero today the benefit is zero and we have to take away the cost, so it's zero minus 2,000 gives us minus 2,000 euros. So from a net position for year zero or today, we expect to make a loss of 2,000 euros. Uh, after one year has elapsed, we expect the income or the benefit to be 1,000 euros, and we expect the cost to be 500, so the net position is 1,000 minus 500 gives us 500. After two years has elapsed, we've got 1,000 minus 600 gives us 400, uh, and after three years has elapsed, we've got a thousand euros minus seven hundred euros gives us three hundred euros. And after four years has elapsed, we've got uh, one thousand five hundred euros minus eight hundred euros uh, is going to give us a value, a difference of seven hundred euros. Okay. Now, from a naive perspective, yeah, okay, uh, when we look at this particular schedule of, of benefits and costs, from a naive perspective uh, and a total net position over these particular years, uh, we'd expect, well, our income is 700 and 300 is 1,000 and 400 is 1,400. Then we have 1,900 minus 1,000 gives us minus 100 euros. So from a naive perspective, a naive perspective, uh, we'd expect this particular project to make a loss of 100 euros. Okay, but there's one thing that we haven't taken into consideration here, and let me just do this by way of example. 
The 700 euros here that contributed to this particular naive loss uh, isn't the same as 700 euros in today's terms due to the time value of money. So really what we should do to properly appraise this project is to calculate the present value for each one of these net positions. So we should calculate the present value or the PV for each one of these positions. Now we have a formula uh, that will help us to calculate the present value okay uh, and we we had a look at that formula in a little bit more detail in one of the previous videos but basically the formula says that the present value of some future value okay is simply equal to the future value divided by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of t where t represents how many years we're discounting the future value back by okay so in all of these cases, for all of these net positions, we need to calculate their present value, how much they're really worth in today's terms. So when the year is equal to zero, let's start with year t equals zero, okay? the present value of a loss of 2,000 euros would be, well, the present value is equal to, this is the future value, although it is today, we're still, we're still trying to calculate the present value, it's minus 2,000 euros, divided by 1 plus some interest rate. And I suppose for this project let's just assume that the interest rate that the interest the interest rate is running let's say i okay let's just assume it's running at 5% okay or as a decimal that's 0 0.05. So the present value of minus 2000 euros would be 1 plus uh, 0 0.05 and how many years we're discounting that by is t, okay? Now, we're discounting it by 0.05.